and welcome back to uh, my playthrough of Cradle on Steam. This is Technics, and uh, we are uh, have a new task. Um, I'm supposed to. She's not able to connect to the web to look up some stuff. So I'm going to help her connect to the web with um, some power. Let's say run power to the network terminal underneath the TV, then turn it on. batteries in the box under the awning so looks like power to the terminal can't press it terminal under the TV Okay, first of all, I'm gonna drop this. I don't think I need this. Wait. I don't know, I'm gonna hold on to that. Batteries. Wait, I think these are batteries. There's another battery out. Let's see, I just saw another battery over here. Let's see, it said. Batteries in the box under. The batteries in the box under the awning. like a solar panel. Let's see if I can get up here. Okay, I think. Oh wait, here we go. This is the box. Excuse me. Looks like I need another battery. I have another battery in here.
see. Batteries in the box. So I'm assuming that the batteries. Wait. I don't think I found another battery over at the. You know, I'm gonna see if I can talk to her. Did you power up the terminal? Help me understand something. What? Oh boy. How did the kids react to seeing a mechanical body? Not, uh... The same way as an organic one. They puked. But then, how did they interact with the staff? Their bouts of morphophobia were suppressed. The complex was equipped with these emitters. I don't know how they worked, but exposure to them enabled the kids to communicate with the staff as well as among themselves. Got it. Did you power up the terminal? Not yet. Hmm. Let's see, I want to say I remember seeing another battery somewhere. I just cannot remember where it was. Wait, I'll look outside. Oh, wait, there it is. Let's see. New task added. Saw a solar, solar battery on the yurt's roof. Okay, so I have the solar. There we go. New task added. Remote to switch on the terminal. Alright. Oh, that's right. Okay, so I gotta find. I know there's a. I think there's a remote around here somewhere. Glasses.
Probably don't need to do that. Oh boy. What is this? That was interesting. I just looked in here. Okay, where where the hell is the remote? I don't know why. I... I am I am blind, aren't I? I know, it's like around here somewhere. Going through, yeah, went through all these. I could have sworn I picked up the remote a while ago. Alright, you know what? I'm I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause here for a second. I'm going to uh, look for the remote, and I will be right back. Um, so I don't know what to sit here and waste a whole bunch of time running around looking for this thing. So I shall return shortly. Alright, I I found the remote. It was hiding huh, back on the ground, of course, as most remotes do. Heading back behind the table there, so I am going to... The reason is both simple and evident. Simultaneous existence of two copies of the same person gives rise to problems we are not prepared to tackle, as clearly demonstrated by the sorrowful experience of the recent past. For now, strict prohibition on duplication and forced deactivation of existing duplicates remain the only solution to the situation. Deactivated neurocopies are retired into secure storage facilities for likely reactivation in the future when a legitimate solution is found. This is one of the cases when. That doesn't look good. Ida, our terminal burned down. I know. But I managed to check the number in time. You did? So what's the news? Are you going home? The news is bad. I no longer have originals right. There's nowhere for me to go. Why? I was restored. Three years ago, Ida Meyer was confirmed dead and restored from a reserve neurocopy. She currently lives somewhere in Geneva. We don't seem to have much luck. How did she die? It says here, died in a despair toxin emission in 2058. This means you are now a duplicate? Correct. My very existence is illegal. Well, don't fret. We'll improvise. Improvise? Sure. We'll find you a normal body with legs. With legs. And then what? Then? Then we'll live our lives, selling flowers. Then it is. Listen, when my battery runs out, I want you to put my flowers into secure warranty. I mean, into a glass cell, yes? That is a secure evacuation. I understand. What? What I mean is, please put my neurochip in a cell which... and wish, into a camera of times. Or a camera of dreams. What's with your voice? I don't know. A camera of tides? What are you talking about? I'm malfunctioning somehow. My thoughts are out of order. But I think it's over. You need repairs. I don't need anything, Inigish. I'll be put to sleep soon. 
disconnected. And for a long while, I bet. So, you've decided? Yes. That is my decision. So you wake up and go right back to sleep. Got it. More like, wake up, get totally confused, then go back to sleep. What are you confused about? The explosion, for one thing. I haven't a clue how I'm connected to it. You got caught in an emission. That's just bad luck. No, Enibish, it's not that simple. I found another mention of my name, here, in the database, in the search history. Somebody was searching for information about me. So what? What's so strange about that? The fact that it was the only query for my name in the entire search history, made 20 minutes before the explosion. Who made the query? A man named Mark. Mark Daring. He's listed as transfer operator. The explosion happened on his shift. There's even a recording of it. And also... How curious. What? Going by the recording, there was an equipment breakdown not long before the explosion, at around the same time the query was made. Yes, I want to know what happened there. What kind of a recording is it? A report. It was saved automatically. It mentions some kind of a malfunction that, because it wasn't corrected in time, forced a modification in the transfer procedure. And no, I don't know the nature of the modification. I haven't yet figured it out. Why do you even care? Is that really important now? It is to me. Because aside from these fragments of the past, I have more fragments of the past than... I mean... Ida. Hey. It happened again. I'm getting worse. I'll repeat. You need repairs. You need to know the cause of the problem before you can correct it which I do not. Could it be those processing errors you've mentioned? Which errors? You know, the ones that accumulate over time. Impossible. I've just rebooted myself. They don't accumulate so quickly. Something else is happening here. Your voice is changing. If only it were just the voice. I'm at a loss. The reasons could be many. Could be my synchronizer is on the fritz. I've heard of cases when the neurochip malfunctioned due to a deteriorating link with the DNA. Either that or... My neurocopy is failing. But if that's the case... What then? Nothing. Let's just hope it's the synchronizer. Let's. Then we'll replace it with a new one. Sure. There's no one here in this mall. Distance close. Give me the pavilion number. I'll go and get it. Is... In six rooms, soft. Got it. And, um, don't go crazy just yet. Try. Try? Yes. Looks like we're going to get another... Play another game. And... Let's see a new task. Six pavilion. I am going to run over there before I... Cut this episode...
not gonna be. Oh, let's see if I can. No, I can't run up there. Alright, well, I'm gonna cut it here and then I will be back to find my way up to the 6th Pavilion. Um, and then we will be able to do the next. the next, uh. block. block game. So, um. Hoping, oh, there's the black stuff. Hoping that you're liking this, and uh, uh, if you do, then uh, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you.